He's dead, Jim. That's what Dr. McCoy might say to Captain Kirk if he saw this grasshopper. But he'd have to say it a bunch of times. Something has stricken the grasshopper population. That's okay. A ton of grasshoppers are present in places this year, and as always, they're destructive. So natural forces are in play to keep them in check. But it's still noteworthy to see a population crash, and it's probably due to an insect disease. Grasshoppers can be killed by several fungal diseases. This one is probably a microsporidium fungus called Nosema locustae, which seizes the gut of a grasshopper, causes it to stop feeding and clamp into place, and then simply mummify and eventually break apart. Disease spores produced in the dead host are then released to the wind to coat nearby feeding surfaces. Other grasshoppers contract the disease, repeat the cycle, and soon, vast clouds of unseen spores may create local epidemics. You might see this where you live, or you might not. It tends to be a local outbreak. But it proves that in all living populations, environmental resistance is at work. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.